What is up, BroTube? We're back. Be sure to subscribe. It's free. Uh, today we're just going to be doing a comparison of these two jerseys. Uh, both of these are fake replicas, knockoffs. I uh, figured I would mention that because in every one of the other videos, there's always someone in the comments, hey man, that's, that's a fake jersey. Yeah, obviously, if you didn't realize uh, from DH Gate, I mean, that's what you get. Obviously, you know, what did I pay for these? 12 to $15. It should have been a giveaway right there anyway, but people still uh, say that in the comments as if we already don't know that. But uh, the jersey on our right hand side is one that I've had for a while. I've already done a review on it. The one on the left is one I just purchased. One is a size medium, one is a size small, as you can see. Both from DH Gate, both from different sellers. So I kind of wanted to just do a comparison as to the differences. As you can see, uh, the one on the right. The medium jersey, the armholes are obviously a little larger and it's also a little longer. Uh, one of the first things you notice is the coloring on the front logo. One's gold, one's brown, same as the border on the number 10 there. The embroidering on the sleeve and the collar are also different. We'll get a little close up on that. The pattern here compared to this pattern you get a more brown color than over here it's a gold or a bronze came with two we've got two different types of tag one has an adidas tag around so you can see a little blue uh, blue tag full tag and the other one is just a NBA Adidas one's got hardwood classic actually they both do my bad another thing is the NBA patch here this one is stitched this one, it's sewn on, but it's more, I'm not even sure what you would call this material, but you can see it's got a gloss finish to it. It's more of a plasticky feel. I'm not sure what it's made of, but anyway. Both of them have the Adidas logo on the opposite shoulder. Moving down here to the size tag. Now this one has, it's got the Harvard Classics, same as the other one. But it's got an extended tag here with the Grizzly logo on it. You can see this one doesn't. Now the images on the website just show the stock factory image. Um. So you really, it's kind of hard to tell what you're going to get. I'm actually, I'm pleased with both of these. Um, now here, this is really bad. Look at that. Who's that? What's he doing? This one over here is not very good either, but maybe a little bit better. Flip these over and look at the back. Same uh, deal here with the trim, gold versus brown. But as far as the quality of the stitching on the letters and numbers, 
very good. As far as the sizing goes, I typically wear a medium in t-shirts. Uh, the medium jersey fits fine. It's just a little longer than I would like. The length with the plus two on there is, is the issue. If it was just a regular length, it would be fine. The small jersey has a perfect length in my opinion. It fits a little bit more snug, so just really depends on how you like to wear them. See, wear a t-shirt under it, so. I really don't have a preference. If I guess if I were to choose one, I would probably go with the small if it's more to my liking. Just because it's a little shorter. And not quite as loose as the medium. Can't go wrong with either one of them. That really just depends on how long you like your jerseys. I just wanted to do a comparison of two jerseys from two different sellers from the same site. Uh, there's, you know, issues with both of them. But, you know, $15, can, what are these retail for? For the authentic jerseys, like 100 or 110 bucks. These were $15 shipped. And as much as I wear jerseys, which is not often at all, I really can't uh, complain with the quality. I mean, if anyone asks, man, that's cool jersey, whatever, where'd you get that? Shoot, I'll tell them it's not real. It doesn't matter to me. Anyway, 15 bucks. They've got flaws. But overall, I'm happy with them. Um, people were always asking, who was the seller's name that you got this from? Um, the sellers seem like, I try to go back and look and they... The sellers come and go on there or they change names or whatever the issue so sometimes I can't find them and probably by now I can't the seller is probably not even on there anymore or he's changed his name or whatever but as you can see you can order from uh, two different ones and you're probably if there's a chance you're gonna get two different types of jerseys it's gonna be it for today guys though uh, be sure to subscribe like and uh, stay tuned for uh, there'll be more Jersey videos in the future. Thanks for watching.